What do I do with my weakness? Should I try to be stronger? I will say both. When I say both, let me see, say the first option. I would say the best thing we could do with anything that comes our path is to embrace it. And then if you want to get stronger in some areas, so be it. But I would encourage all of us, before we try to strengthen ourselves in any area, let's embrace our weakness and not to see our weakness as our enemy. What did the Lord tell Paul when he asked, his weakness, which was his thorn in the flesh, to be removed. He asked three times, and the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Then why should I look at the weaknesses of my life? Normally the weakness is not this holy weakness, it's weakness. Your weak. The weakness. The Lord said, My strength is made perfect. I would say one of the best things we could do is to not to look at our weakness as our enemy and a curse. And ask it, ask the Lord to help us to embrace our weakness. And then when the time comes, his strength will be made perfect, which will become our strength. Then I offer my weakness to him. He offers his strength to me. But how about if we do the other way? Just say, how about if I offer the Lord so-called my strength? Isn't that most of us? we did and still are doing when we met Jesus or still after many years trying to offer him our strength but we do how can I be forgiven if I do not offer him my sin how can I become the righteousness of Christ which is in the Bible if I do not border with him how do we barter with him? We give him our sin. He gives us his righteousness. We give him our weakness. He gives us his strength. Am I able to do this all the time? Not really, unless he helps me. Am I willing, when I think about it, yes, I am willing to embrace my weakness, to offer him my weakness, to embrace my shortcomings than to offer him my shortcoming. And just something to ponder. Until next time that I would talk to myself and I record and I share it with you guys. I'm just talking to myself. But when these things come to me through my own filter and perspective, I like to record them. I like to hear myself pondering out loud. That's why most of the time, if you see me, I am typing. We all have so many thoughts. They are like birds over our heads, sometimes vultures over our heads or mine. What I do, I capture them through writing and I put them on a piece of paper or in my computer. Or I capture them through my own voice and I record them. I love that process. It really, truly helps me to catch the vultures 
which they come to bring depression, anxiety, and anxiousness, and fear, and catch all these beautiful heavenly birds also that I could share with others. Then two things, actually three things, when I asked if I gave my heart to the Lord, truly helped me. One, I started 2000, yeah, 2000 and 2001, I started writing in my journal. 2006, I started to write in my computer. I think it was about 2013, I started to capture them through voice and videos. But it's really good to capture them. And that's it. Wow, what a wise man I am. Woo, man. That's another thing I'm going to share about pride. Lord Jesus. And approval. To prove myself. That's another story for another time. Um, Paul said he was very smart toward the end of his life. He said, what a wretched man I am. The things I don't want to do, I do. The things I want to do, I don't do. Who's going to help me? He said, ah, oh, my Jesus. I give him my wretchedness. I give him my filthy rags. I give him even my crooked perspective. And he said, come, come, come near to me, my son, my daughter. Keep talking. Keep getting closer to me. Come, come, come. I will never judge your perspective. Just come to me. Keep talking to me. 